Hello, so this is Adnan and uh, we'll uh, have a tutorial for uh, interior render settings and lightning and uh, post-production. Here's a simple scene I have, I already made. Uh, just showing some some uh, obje objects I have in the scene. I'll hide them now because uh, they'll just slow my scene. Uh, go to the render settings, V-Ray bridge, we'll check uh, GI and we'll select a uh, preset, go to color mapping, we'll set the gamma to 2.1 and the uh, darkness multiplier to 1.6. We'll go to the environment and load uh, an HDRI image. That's it. We'll do simple preview render to see if uh, the lightning is good. Looks nice. Some soft shadows. We'll do a preview render from the inside. as you see it looks very dark we need to make it a little bit brighter we set the the multiplier here for the HDRI image to 5 and we'll do another PV render looks much better but we'll still have uh, the curtains we're given a material that will let, let let more light into the room I'm rotating the HDRI image here I'll rotate it a little bit more that's it we'll go to create another material we'll select the two-sided material change the color to a uh, brighter color and we'll assign the material to the two curtains Do a preview test, preview render. See, it lets much, much more light to the room, which makes it look m more realistic. Plus, I guess that's the, the way curtains look, I guess. We'll assign the material to the to the lamps too. I already have some materials which I deleted. So if you can see there I have uh, two spheres which represent the light bulbs
here it is the other one here too we'll just give them uh, a normal material very material and uh, we'll check on the luminosity layer and we'll choose a, a warm color yellow or orange and uh, we crank up the the amount to make it a little bit brighter I set it there to 2000 percent we'll assign the material to the to the spheres or the light bulbs <coughs> excuse me we'll do a preview render to see if everything looks nice there you see it it's a little bit no, it's not bright enough we'll make it a little bit brighter a preview render now be a little bit brighter it's not it's not bright enough we'll set the multiplier to seven and do a render there looks looks really good I guess I didn't like uh, the position of the rotation the rotation of the, the HDRI image now you ha when you want to do your final render make sure you, sel you select a very good uh, preset medium or high will be good and then you render for the post production part here's the final render after texturing and stuff you, you choose the curves we'll make it uh, a little bit uh, brighter you, you do like I do in the video you can copy but you can you can play with it yourself you might get better results L give it a little bit of a uh, color correction I just do it like that gives me nice you know kind of purple looking scene I think I like that and uh, the trees there look a little bit weird has though that bluish green color we'll take a, a black and white filter we'll paint the mask with black and we we'll take the brush tool and the the white color and the paint a little bit to make this appear of that weird color also you see here the green weird looking thing I guess it's a it's a render bug or whatever so we just paint there too just change the the color of the brush to black cuz uh, ch the trees shouldn't look totally uncolored they have they have to have a little bit of color see the difference Ok, 
create another layer we choose the color we, we give it to the to make uh, the lamps look uh, more bright I think more realistic look you just take the brush and click make the brush smaller and click there too change the mod to overlay or soft light maybe you ju just have to play with that to get the, the the best result and lower the opacity a little bit now another layer and we'll create sort of looking vignette thing we just select a circle invert the selection and take the black take the black color and just paint control D and blur Gaussian blur control T and uh, or transformation and scale click on alt and shift and scale it a little bit I will erase the the vignette thing from the this corner shouldn't be black like that because we have the windows and light coming can't be black I guess 